Why, why prune? Why bother to prune? Well, there are several reasons. Certainly, if you put a tree in the ground and left it for four or five years, it would probably produce more fruit than a tree that you'd prune. Almost certainly produce more individual fruitlets, whether they weighed quite as much is debatable. But put a tree in the ground, leave it, it will come into crop quickly. Cut it, and depending on when you cut it, we'll deal with that. Uh, you will have an effect on the on the crop as it as it as the tree grows older. But the real reason to pr why we prune is to form the tree. So the first thing is to shape the tree. Because what we've got and what dessert fruit growers have got um, is we've got to get a tree that fits our plantation and eventually that fits the equipment down the alleyway so that you can harvest them. Um, so that's the first sort of criteria that we've got to do, tree shape. The other thing is for spray penetration. If you've got a very, very dense tree that you never prune, never thin out, you're always going to find it difficult for your spray to go right the way through the tree canopy and uh, get full cover on your leaves. With shape, particularly with side apple trees, one of the most critical things is height. So shape, ultimate tree height, maximum crop at maturity because that's what we're all we're all aiming for we're paid as cider apple growers on the crop we produce we want maximum crop at maturity and we want regular crops now, certainly pruning gives you correct pruning gives you all these things and it, the other thing it gives you ultimately when you get tree to, to maturity, it extends the life of the extend the life of the tree. It costs a lot of money to plant an orchard, everyone knows that the biggest single cost is probably the tree itself. <coughs> if you look after it, it will do a lot more than see you through the length of your contracted term. Depending whom you're growing for, certainly Bournemouth's contracts last for 25 or 30 years. We've got trees that we planted uh, back in the 19, early 70s, and in some cases, one or two in the late 60s, and they're still going now. And the ones that have been pruned the best, and are looked after the best, are almost giving their best ever crops now at the age of 40, 42 years. Um, so doing all this will see you right. And it's far easier to start the tree off right sacrifice a few branches to get the shape you want uh, then try and cut them out later on when they've grown a lot of uh, weight and fruit produce a lot of fruit by that you're then re, uh, cutting out so sacrifice a little bit of crop in the early years to get the tree shape you want so that's why to prune I hope any questions on that before I press on no, I realize you should have mentioned yeah, sorry, I should I, yeah, I missed out the spray, spray penetration also is the same time of getting sprayed through, you're getting light through. And what you actually are farming, really, as many people say, is light. You've got to sacrifice a few branches to get maximum light in. And those people in the southern part of Europe, uh, France and Italy, where you have much better um, light levels, they get huge crops, they've got a great advantage over us. We're struggling at probably one of the most northerly parts um, in Great Britain for commercial fruit production. Uh, you can go further, but your daylight hours will probably decrease, um, and the strength of the sun will decrease the further north you go. So give the tree every help by you can, by getting the branches coming out in the right <coughs> way more about that in a minute. So, when to prune? 
Now you can prune a tree at any time of the year, um, and but when you do it, it has a big effect on the how the tree responds. It's the tree's response to, to that pruning that um, we need to be mindful of. Most people in mature orchards prune in the winter um, for, by hand now for a very good reason and that's because you can see what you're doing. When you're taking big branches out of a tree um, you need to be able to actually physically pull them out because they get hooked up in the canopy. Uh, in summer, if you were to do it when the tree's got fruit on, not only you can't, can, can you not see where the branches are that you want out because they're covered by leaf cover, but also actually physically getting the branch out will rip a lot of fruitlets off and uh, do damage to, to fruit bud as well. So for most times, pruning in the winter is the accepted norm for most growers um, after harvest. The later you do it in the, in the winter, that will again have a, a different effect. What you've got to imagine is that your mature tree now has put down some big roots in the ground. It's been established with the... I might need a bit of a help here to hold it down against windy. So we've got our tree canopy there, our branch canopy. If you cut, shall we say, two big branches off, cut that one out, cut that one out, in the winter, when the tree wakes up in the spring, it suddenly finds it's got, it's had a haircut. The same root, the root system has stayed the same, you haven't, you haven't altered that. So it's going to produce the same volume of sap, of growth potential, and it goes up the trunk and out into the branches, but it's got fewer branches. So what it will do, it will respond by making the tree grow, eat the existing branches grow even more, and where you cut off two big lower branches, for example, it will try to force out new growth shoots wherever it can. So pruning, generally speaking, in the winter, enhances growth the following year, which, for many people, that's what they want to do. However, at the extremes of that, either very early in even autumn, late autumn, straight away after harvesting, or early, sorry, very late in the winter, just as spring is starting to move.